When I'm feeling chilled to the bone, there's nothing like a hot plate of comfort food to chase away the shivers, which is why I can't wait for Chef Barney's heartwarming winter menu coming right up. A chilly winter breeze chased Karishma to Vani's front door, adding an edge to her appetite. When it comes to winter, we all end up seeking out familiar comforts. For me, it's always a decadent curry. Today, Vani's invited me into her home to prepare a heartwarming winter's meal. Hi, Karishma! <laughs> Come on in. Thank you. It's so lovely and cosy in here. <laughs> I can't wait to get started. So the first dish we're going to do is our lamb rogan josh, and I've got some beautiful lamb knuckles because I like the, the cut of meat because it just adds that yumminess to the lamb rogan josh. Krishma, you're going to chop up some tomatoes for me and I'm going to saute off the lamb knuckles. Okay. I'm just going to lean over. Quite a bit of splattering. But that's feeling in all the lovely flavours. Yeah, that's what we want. And I'm just going to season right now. All that flavour is captured in the meat. The next, I'm adding in the spices so that flavour will also be incorporated in the meat. So it's ground coriander, ground cumin, Kashmiri spice. A little bit of turmeric and give that a good stir. Oh, it smells delicious already. The smell of roasting spices are just exquisite. You can add in your tomatoes and with all the juices as well. And just keep raising this. The temperature I have is on medium heat because if it's too hot, then it's going to actually burn our spices, which we don't want. And I'm going to add in some fresh chopped tomatoes. Why are we using two different types of tomatoes? Because the lamb rogan josh has to cook for about an hour and a half. And with the cooking process, you want texture as well in the rogan josh. So the whole peeled tomatoes will cook to a mush, and then your fresh tomatoes will actually cook, but it still have a little bit of a crunch to it. A little bit of tomato puree. And that also gives that nice gravy to a lamb rogan josh. I'm going to add a touch of water to this, just enough just to cover. So I'm going to move it aside and then we can start our next dish. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. The dish I'm going to prepare next is kadai mur. Let's start cooking. Yes. In first, I love using ghee. Who doesn't love ghee? A little bit of ginger garlic paste. Once again, I use a 50-50 mix. I want to cook the spices in first. So the coriander, cumin, Kashmiri spice, turmeric. While that's cooking off for a second, and then some dried chili. And all I'm going to do is just squish it in my palm. I don't want to break it out, but once again, because the dish becomes too spicy. And then add our chicken, quick stir, and Kushma, can you pass me the yellow gravy, please? There go. I'm just going to add a half of that and some chopped tomato masala. You see what I mean about a quick one-pot dish? Easy peasy. Absolutely. And the white gravy, please. There go. And a little bit of salt to taste. So I'm going to let that cook for about a minute or two on medium heat. I'm just going to bring it up to a quick boil. It's now good already. I must say, that is definitely the creaminess that you look for in a comforting meal. Yes. Can I have the onions and peppers, please? Oh. I'm going to put the lid on and that's going to cook for about two to three minutes. While that's cooking, can you clip me some mustard greens, please? Our dish is almost finished. In goes the mustard. And I'm going to add some fresh julienne ginger for that beautiful warming flavour. Karishma, and this dish is ready. So let me set this aside and bring the lamb back in. Our lamb is almost ready. 
funny, that smells incredible. That takes me straight back to my childhood. To finish this dish off, I'm going to add some roast onion puree. This makes this dish much more creamier as well. And the last two spices I'm going to be using is garam masala and the green cardamom powder. Now this will just give it that beautiful floral fragrance as well. Almost finishing up is some fresh julienne ginger and Karishma, can you clip me some micro coriander please? Yes, please. I'm going to set this aside and we're going to make some dal makhni next. My favourite. Krishma, I have our black dal for our dal makhni. So this is our granules. It is quite a process. You've got to soak it for 30 minutes and cook it for two hours. But since we don't have the time for that, I've actually pre-boiled our dal. And as you can see, they've actually swelled up to twice its size. Once again, ghee and a good dal because it's dal makhni. So it's a creamy, yummy dish. I'm going to add a little bit of ginger garlic paste to that. Some cumin powder, Kashmiri spice, and I'm going to add in the boiled dal. And just saute that off so all that spices gets together. Can you hand me the tomato puree, please? And all of that tomato puree in. Now this dish takes about, about 15 to 20 minutes to cook. And once it's cooking gently, just bring it up to a quick bubble. And I'm gonna add some liquid to that and just boil it a little bit more. And as it's cooking, we, we just mush down. So all I'm doing is pressing the lentils down so it breaks down and also it becomes starchy. A little bit of salt for taste and some water. So the water is also our gravy. And I'm gonna add a little bit of garam masala to this. And green cardamom powder. So I'm gonna leave this on the stove for the next few minutes. And while this is cooking away, I'm going to bring out our next ingredients for our dish. Krishma, our next dish is chole masala. So I've got the dried chickpeas, but I've also pre-boiled these. I adore chickpeas. It's not seasoned. You never season chickpeas when you boil it because it restricts the growth as it's boiling. That's a top <laughs> tip, Bunny. I didn't know that. So to finish it off, I need to add some cream. That's what I love about winter food. It's all about that decadence and that indulgence. Yes. And all that's going to do is bring that flavour together. A quick rapid boil. We will start our chole masala. Our chana masala is once again a very quick and easy dish. So, ghee, a good dollop of ghee. It's gonna melt and add some cumin seeds and the cumin seeds are just gonna come to a quick pop. Curry leaves, fresh curry leaves, always the best. Some chana masala. So I wanna fry that off also with a little bit of cumin powder, a little bit of Kashmiri spice, Turmeric. I'm going to take. Oh, that smells beautiful. Chickpeas. Just saute that. Karishma, can you pass me the chopped tomato, please? And I'm going to season a little bit because remember I didn't season the chana when I was boiling it. And the yellow gravy, please. Smells good mm. already. Krishma, I'm sure you'd like a taste. I'd love a taste. Mm. That's perfect, Bunny. This dish is ready, so can you hand me the serving dish, please, and we can plate up. So it's one of those quick dishes. And we're going to garnish with some pomegranate pips. And I'm going to garnish with some reddish shoots. That finishes up our heartwarming winter dishes. Fanny, thank you so much for inviting me into your home. I couldn't think of a better way to spend a winter's day. Only a pleasure.